now, here's Chief Meteorologist Tony Petrarca with your live Pinpoint Doppler 12 Futurecast. Well, when we talk about the weather pattern, we're referring to the, uh, the position of the jet stream, which uh, in this particular example is it favors alternating periods of both warm and cold weather. Of course, we had the snow on Saturday, 50s yesterday, 60s today, and probably 60 or near 60 tomorrow afternoon before it gets uh, cold again. So kind of a roller coaster ride. Now on Doppler radar, uh, we're not finding any precipitation. I don't expect any for this evening and overnight and even tomorrow, at least most of the daylight hours uh, basically dry. We may catch uh, a couple of sprinkles in the morning. That would be about it. Visibility is pretty good in downtown Providence right now, but the humidity has been on the rise. The winds are light and that's sometimes a, a recipe for uh, patchy fog and it will keep that in the forecast overnight through early tomorrow morning. Look at the high temperatures today. Keep in mind the normal highs about 43 to 44. So we were a good 15, 16 degrees above average. In fact, I expect similar temperatures coming up for tomorrow afternoon as well. Right now it's settled back to 39 in Smithfield, upper 30s, low 40s on the South Shore. Newport now coming in at 42 degrees. Satellite photo shows we're still holding on to clear skies for now. A weather system off to our west combination warm and cold front will bring extra clouds tomorrow. And you can see a couple of sprinkles back here through um, central Pennsylvania and one or two of these may sneak through here tomorrow morning. Not a big deal. We're not looking at any kind of a deluge for the morning commute, but a couple of sprinkles tomorrow morning possible. Also early on a little bit of patchy fog 43 at 7 a.m. Warming up to the 50s by 11 o'clock in the morning. Any sunshine in the morning would be partial and limited. The clouds will eventually take over, especially during the afternoon. Future cast shows as well, starting off with the overnight period with clear skies, giving way to some clouds and some overnight fog. We'll put this into motion. Just follow the clock right up in here. Uh, and notice 9, 10 o'clock in the morning, cloudy skies are becoming cloudy and little tiny flecks of green. Just some real small stuff here. A couple of sprinkles in nearby Connecticut and one or two may pass through here all of 10 minutes couple of drops on the windshield kind of a deal. And then by tomorrow afternoon becoming mostly cloudy, but even with limited sun and extra clouds tomorrow, it will be on the warm side, at least for this time of year. Let me show it to you hour by hour tomorrow afternoon. One, two, three, four o'clock. Extra clouds, only partial sun, if that, but still getting temperatures up into the upper 50s to briefly near 60. And then by tomorrow evening, tomorrow night, <clears throat> excuse me, a, a better chance for some scattered rain showers. Tomorrow afternoon, city by city and town by town, looking at temps in the upper 50s to near 60 with mostly cloudy skies. Again, little if any rain other than a sprinkle. Same story across southeastern Massachusetts as well. Again, the better chance for any showers, rain showers, would actually come very late tomorrow night into Wednesday morning. It does improve, though, Wednesday afternoon turning windy. Uh, back to cooler weather, back to normal on Thursday. Sunshine 44. Friday's not bad. Still seeing signs of unsettled weather for the weekend. I don't necessarily really think that Saturday is a washout. Right now, we're just going a couple of showers, and it will be in the form of rain showers and not snow, just for the simple fact that temps over the weekend will be in the uh, lower 50s. So as far as bitter cold, snow and ice and, you know, no school, Foster Gloucester, I don't see that this week. Okay. All right. <laughs>